now I'm going to show you two decoration techniques to add a splash of colour to your Easter eggs, or any other hollow figures for that matter. In our video about moulding hollow figures, I already explained the importance of working with clean moulds and warming them before use. These moulds in front of me are ready to go. First, I'm going to demonstrate some creativity with gold powder. I simply sprinkle a small amount in the centre of my mould and then I'm going to pour a bit of tempered dot chocolate on it to keep it in place. Using your finger, simply wipe out the chocolate along the gold powder into the shape you want. That's a nice thing about transparent moulds. You can actually see which pattern you're creating. When that's done, leave the chocolate to harden for a minute before filling the mould with pre-crystallised chocolate. Next is tapping the mould with the back of a scraper to remove any possible air bubbles before pouring the excess chocolate back into the melter. I scrape off the excess chocolate and place the mould on a piece of paper for about 5 minutes. This will create a nice clean edge on the chocolate shell, which will make it easier for me to put my two egg halves together later. The second technique I'm going to show you involves coloured cocoa butter. I've deposited a few papers of different coloured cocoa butters on IBC. They're ready to use. What I'm going to do is to rub a toothbrush in them and then cover my mould in coloured specks by rubbing my finger along the bristles of the toothbrush. You can just flick the coloured cocoa butter straight in produce a more linear splattered pattern. Switching between colours and these two techniques, you can create your own amazingly beautiful effects. I'm feeling a bit like Jackson Pollock creating a wonderful painting here. When that's done, I'm going to clean the outer surface of the mould by pressing it over a piece of paper. Now I'm going to leave the cocoa butter to set for a few minutes and then I'm going to finish it off by brushing in a bit of silver creative powder from IBC. The excess powder is easily removed by tapping the mould against the worktop. It's time to fill the mould with pre-crystallised chocolate and then whirl it around to create a smooth layer of chocolate that covers all sides of the mould evenly. Next, I'm going to tap the mould with the back of the scraper again to remove any possible air bubbles before pouring the excess chocolate back into the melter. The only thing I still need to do now is to scrape off the excess chocolate and place the mould on a piece of paper for about 5 minutes before leaving it to harden in a fridge between 14 and 16 degrees centigrade for about 30 minutes or slightly longer until the chocolate completely contracts from the moulds and when they come out you can admire the beautiful hollow figures you've created yourself